Hey dear students, welcome to this video tutorial. Before we start today, today's item, I must tell you something. My dear students, we have already completed, complete, completed oh, difference of sets and complement of sets. <coughs> so today, we are reading how to write elements of the given set directly from the given Venn diagram. Is, today we are reading how to study the given Venn diagram to write the elements of given set operation directly <coughs> from the given Venn diagram. Okay, I have drawn two Venn diagrams here. A and B. In the, in the first Venn diagram we have A and B are overlapping sets. In the second Venn diagram I have drawn three subsets of universal set. We have some elements also, but today the main thing we are reading how to write the elements of given set directly from the given Venn diagram. But before we start, my dear students, this uh, will be better for students of class 7 as well. So there may be the sets may be overlapping, may be different, there may be the case of sorts, no problem. We can do write the elements of the given set operation that may be related to, related to intersection, union, difference, complement, no problem. We can use the same idea to write the elements. So my dear students, so let us start from the first Venn diagram. You know very well, inside the, inside the circle A we have 1, 2, 3. Inside the shape A we have 1, 2 and 3. It is 1, 2 and 3 are the elements of shape A. Similarly, inside B, inside B we have the elements 1, 3, 4 and 5. So see, you can do easily guess 1, 3, 4, 5 are the elements of shape B. Because they lie inside B. And 1 and 3 are the common elements of A and B because 1 and 3 are the elements of A also, elements of B also. So 1 and 3 are the common elements. So you can study the given Venn diagram of first study the given Venn diagram by this way. Then only you, you can you, you, you start writing the elements of the given set operation. Okay, if we have to write the elements of A intersection B directly from the first Venn diagram. Okay, my listeners, before I to give you the direct idea, okay, if you don't know the direct idea, first you can, we have very simple idea. So from the given, from the first diagram, let us write the elements of set A, A intersection B. Okay, after some minutes, we shall read how to write the elements of set A intersection B directly from the main diagram. But uh, if you do not uh, know how to write directly, we have one idea. Okay, if we have to calculate A intersection B from the first Venn diagram. Okay, if you can't write directly, uh, don't take tension. You, we have one simple idea. If we have to write the elements of A intersection B, write the elements of A first from the given Venn diagram. Elements of A, we have inside A, we have the elements 1, 2 and 3. So elements of A direct is 1, 2, and 3. Then turn off the symbol intersection. Then we have the set B. Do write the elements of set B. They are inside B we have the elements 1, 3, 4, and 5. Do write 1, 3, 4, and 5. And how to find intersection? We read already in class 6 and 7. So while well, well, finding intersection, we just write common elements only. So let us check the common elements. One is the common element. Uh, three is also another common element. Two, no, four, no, not here. It means one and three are the common elements from the set A and B. So one and three. So if you don't know how to write directly from the given Venn diagram, just write the elements of A by looking at the Venn diagram. Elements of B by looking the Venn diagram, then after do find intersection. So how to find intersection? <clears throat> you read already in, in previous class. So intersection means we, write, we just write common elements only. So if you can't write directly, follow this idea. You can easily write the elements of A from the given Venn diagram. Elements of B from the given Venn diagram. 
and my dear students, elements of A means the elements which lie inside A. I'll repeat. The elements of A means the elements which lie inside A. And the elements which lie inside B are the elements of B. So if you can't write directly, follow this idea, my dear students. But today, we are going to read how to write the elements of given set operation that may be related to intersection union, difference complement directly from the given Venn diagram. Okay, let us start. But before that, intersection union, we read already in previous classes. So, intersection means if you know intersection, while finding intersection, we just write common elements. While finding union, we just we write all the elements of, if we are finding A union B, we write all the elements of A and B without repeating, you know. So, intersectional union you can, but uh, while writing the elements related to the same difference and complement, uh, I hope uh, you have not forgotten A difference B, how to find A difference B, how to find A complement, while finding A difference B, we write elements of A only, not of B. While finding A complement, we write elements of U, universe set only, not of A. Similarly, while finding B difference A, we write elements of B only, not of A. While finding B complement, we write the elements of U only, not of B. Okay, I hope you have not forgotten this, because this how to find difference, how to find complement, we read already in our previous classes. So today, we are reading how to write the elements of given set operation directly from the given Venn diagram. Okay, directly. The first we have to calculate A intersection B from the first diagram. But if I do that by this, it will be better for you. A intersection B. We have already calculated. And I have already told you, if you can't write directly, just write the elements of A, then intersection, elements of B, then fine. That will be easier for some of you. But directly from the given diagram, if the question is find A intersection B from the given Venn diagram, by that time you can do write the elements directly by studying the given Venn diagram. So let, let us write elements of A intersection B. And as we know, while for the intersection, we just write common elements of A and B. It means a big clear my listeners. While writing elements of A intersection B, we write common elements of A and B directly from the given Venn diagram. Now my listeners, don't get confused. Today we are learning how to write the elements of given set directly from the given Venn diagram. It means we are reading how to study the Venn diagram to write the elements of given set. Okay, if we have to write A intersection B, as we know, intersection means we write common elements only. And this we write common elements of A and B. Okay, let us write the elements of A to B directly from this Venn diagram. Common elements of A and B. Okay, so here, 1 and 3 are the elements of A also. 1 and 3 are the elements of B also. It means we can say 1 and 3. These two are the elements of A also, these two are the elements of B also. So 1 and 3 are the common elements of A and B. 1 and 3 lies inside A also, 1 and 3 lies inside B also. So 1 and 3, it's clear, are the common elements of A and B. And A intersection B means we write common elements of A and B. So directly, we can write as 1 and 3 are the common elements of A and B. A intersection B is 1 and 3. But if you can't write directly, I have already given you the simple idea. Just write the elements of A, elements of B, then fine. Okay, next, A and B. Then how do find union also you read already in previous classes? Union means we write all. Intersection of common only. Union common and remaining as well. It means we write all the elements of A and B. That means A union B means all the elements which lie inside A also, inside B also. Okay, see. So one, two, three, four, five. In our Venn diagram. Elements which lie inside A are 1, 2, and 3. The elements which lie inside B are 1, 3, 4, and 5. And A union B means we should write elements of A and B all. 
which elements which lie inside A and inside B all. Since we are inside A and inside B, we have to write all. Elements are from this Venn diagram. One also inside A, two also, three also, this three, four also, five also. And my reason we have the two remaining elements which are inside it. These two cannot be written because as we know A and B means we have to write elements of A and B. I mean element, elements which lie inside A and which lie inside B. Six and seven. Six does not lie inside A. Six does not lie inside B. Similar shape also does not lie inside A. Seven does not lie inside B. So one, two, three, four, five. These are the elements which lie inside A and B. So A and B means one, two, three, four, five from the first Venn diagram. Similar, let us talk the third item A intersection B. This we have already talked in our previous class. A intersection A difference B means we write elements of A only, not of B. Elements of A only, not of B. Let us see the elements of B first. The elements which lie inside B are 1, 3, 4 and 5. But A difference B means uh, elements of A only, not of B. Ele elements of A only, not of B. Follow this idea. Not of B means uh, 1, 3, 4 and 5 are the elements of B. And here is only one remaining element of A. Those 6 and 7 are remaining. 6 and 7 do not lie inside A. So 1, 3, 4 and 5 are the elements of B. Except the elements of B, we have the remaining elements of A only. So only 2 is one remaining element of A. And 2 is only of A, not of B. Don't write 1, 3, 4 and 5. Remaining element of A, that is 2 only. So here in this Venn diagram, elements of A difference B, A difference B. Except B, element of A, we have only one that is 2. So A difference B is 2 from the first Venn diagram. Similarly, let us start the fourth one, B difference A. So if you know how to write the elements of A difference B, you can do easily write the elements of B difference A as well. You know, B difference A means elements of, we write elements of B only, not of A. Not of A. Elements, let us say the elements of A first. Elements of A are 1, 2 and 3. Elements of A are 1, 2 and 3. And the remaining elements of the set B are 4 and 5. B difference A means we write the remaining elements of B only, not of A. Elements of B only, not of A. That means 4 and 5 are the elements of B only, not of A. So B difference A means 4 and 5. And the next one, A complement. And how to find complement? What is complement? Opposite, we have already talked in our previous classes. So A complement means we write the elements of universal set, except the set A. But it will be better if we say we write all the elements except the elements of set A. Except set A, we write all. A complement means uh, except the elements of set A. We write all the remaining elements of set universal set. Okay, don't follow this one. Accept the elements of set A. Accept the elements of set A. We can't write the elements of set A. That means let us say the elements of set A. One, two, and three are the elements of set A. My dear students, you can check the Venn diagram. One, two, and three are the elements of set A. And the remaining elements are four. 5, 6, 7. We have to write all. Except A, the remaining elements 4, 5, 6, 7. We have to write all. Except means we have the remaining elements of except the elements of set A. Except A means uh, except 1, 2, 3. We have the remaining elements 4, 5, 6, 7. 
to write off. Four, five, six, seven. Accept A. Similarly, B complement. Accept the elements of set B, we should write the remaining elements of set U off. Accept the elements of set B. Okay, the elements of set B are one, two, so one, three, four, and five. These are the elements of set B. The remaining are two, six, and seven. Accept B. Here is four. The elements of B are one, three, four, and five. Accept these elements. The remaining are two, six, and seven. So B complement is equals to two, six, and seven from the first Venn diagram. A complement accept the elements of set A. Do write all. B complement accept the elements of set B. Do write all. Now have you done the next one? A intersection B complement. It is actually U difference A intersection B. U difference A intersection B. So let us say accept the elements of the set A intersection B. So let us check what are the elements of set A intersection B. We have already calculated. But A intersection means we have common elements of A and B. Common elements of A and B, they are. Common elements of A and B, they are 1 and 3. So A intersection B complement, that means accept the elements of A intersection B. And the elements of A intersection B are 1 and 3. A intersection B complement means accept 1 and 3. If we have to write the elements of A intersection B complement from the first Venn diagram, accept the elements of A intersection B. So A intersection B is 1 and 3. Accept 1 and 3. The remaining are 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Accept 1 and 3. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 are remaining. So A intersection B complement means accept A intersection B. There are 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we completed the uh, how to write the elements from the Venn diagram. We completed, completed, completed the first Venn diagram. And let us write the elements of the given sets from the second type of Venn diagram. Let us say if we have three short sets of universe they are A, B and C. Here A, B, C all are overlapping. Some there, sometimes there may be X, Y, Z. There may be the case of this one, there may be the case of substance, so no problem. Okay, let us write. Okay, intersection and union. I hope you can do that easily. So let us write it from, from A difference B. Okay, as we know A difference B, elements of A only not of B. Don't take tension about the set C. Elements of A only, not of B. Not of B. The elements of B are, check the given better. Elements of B are 1, 2, 6, and 10. Elements of A only, not of B. A only, not of B. Elements of B are 1, 2, 6, and 10. It cannot be written. The remaining elements of A are 3, 4, and 5. Though it lies inside C, don't take tension. Accept the elements of B. 1, 2, 6, and 7. Accept these elements. The remaining elements of inside A are 3, 4, and 5. So A difference B means elements of A only. They are 4, 3, 4, and 5. Accept the elements of set B. So A difference B from this Venn diagram we have 3, 4, and 5. And 5. Similarly, B difference A. Now, B difference A, it means elements of B only, not of A. Elements of B only, not of A. Okay, let us see the elements of A first. Elements of A this much. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You cannot write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, these elements, we should write the remaining name of set B only. They are 6 and 10. So, B difference A. 6 and 10.
Similarly, let's check one more. If we have to write the elements of a different tree, at least we can a different tree means we have the elements of a one lead, not of c. And uh, elements of a one lead, not of c. Okay, not of c means don't write the elements which lie inside c. Okay, two, five, six, seven are the elements of c. Accept these elements, we write the elements of set A only. 2, 5, 6, 7 cannot be written. Remaining elements of set A are 1, 3, and 4. 1, 3, and 4. Similarly, you can do write the elements of C difference A. You can do write the elements of B difference C also. But uh, one more thing. I hope uh, by looking this video, you will be able to write the elements of A, sorry, C difference A, B difference C like that. But one thing, you complement. I don't want to say that is you complement. Okay, let us uh, write the elements of you complement. You complement means we can do define you complement that is universal minus. U. Or let us accept the elements of universe that can be shared. Accept the elements of universal set. And minus elements of universe set means all the elements which are given in the Venn diagram. So, you complement means accept the elements of universe set. Okay, let's check the elements of U first. You can do check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All are the elements of universe set. So, accept these elements, we have to write remaining elements. So as you complement means you difference you. That is accept the accept these elements, we have to write remaining elements. It means action 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We don't have any remaining elements. And so you can do guess my dear students. Accept universe, accept the elements of universe. That means we don't have any remaining elements of you. Accept the Elements of universe set, that means it's empty set. You complement, accept the elements of you, that means we don't have any elements. So you complement means you can share inside the minus, you complement is always empty set. Because we don't have any remaining elements in the given Venn diagram. So you complement is always empty. So today we read directly. We read how to write the elements of the given set operation that may be related to intersection, union, complement, difference directly from the given Venn diagram. This was for today. Remaining in our next class. And my dear students, please don't forget to like and subscribe to TV. Thank you.